Hey guys, I'm Luke Duncan with the TH Marine Team. Today I'm going to give you some helpful tips on how to install our new surface mount LED dome light. The light features a rocker switch which enables you to go from red LEDs to white LEDs. Those red LEDs are really going to help you at night because they don't impair your vision when you're reading charts or tying on lures. Very cool light, hidden fasteners, so when we mount it on the console you won't be able to see the screws. It's going to be a real quick and easy install job. Come with me and we'll install it on this console. All right, guys, we're ready to install our dome LED light on our console. We've picked out a location right on the front of the console. I didn't want to put it up high because it might blind you at night, you know, get, get in your eyes. So if you put it down low and you've got a chart in the boat or you're tying on lures, it's going to be at a perfect angle. So I've selected my location. Really and truly, all you need for this install is a cordless drill, a small drill bit, to drill your pilot holes for your fasteners, which I always like to do. Uh, the fasteners are included with the light. You're gonna need, uh, under this console, I'm actually going to use a jumper, like so, to tie into a hot and ground that I already have under the console because this light features a switch. So this is a super easy install. Uh, really gonna make a real nice addition to this center console boat once we get finished. Now that we're ready to install, the first thing we have to do is take this lens out of the light. It's very easy. Quick turn and it pops right out. And this reveals your fasteners. No, not your fasteners, reveals where your fasteners your screw are. Holes. Your screw holes. Okay, I've mounted one screw in my surface mount LED light bezel. I'm going to take a 3 8 inch drill bit now and drill a hole into the console so I can run my wires. Two. After you've mounted your surface mount LED dome light to the console, you want to feed the wires back through the 3 8 inch hole that we drilled in the console. And you can see here, it's just a little keyhole. The lens is gonna go back in and turn counterclockwise, just like we've already done here. Simple. Now we're ready to wire it up to the battery. Now that we have our light securely mounted to the console, we have two different options for wiring. Um, basically, because this light has a switch on it, all we need to do is take our hot and ground coming off of the light to a existing hot and ground in the console, a constant hot. I already have a hot and ground that I know of coming off of my depth finder, so that's going to be super simple to tie into with a jumper, uh, what, what I call a jumper. I'm going to take the positive off of my light and the positive that's existing under the console, put them in this, take some channel lock pliers, crimp it down, and you're going to have a connection. You want to do the same thing with the negative lead uh, on that as well. The other option would be to go to an existing accessory switch and then tie that into the light and basically all that does is it cuts power off to the light but like I said before since this light is switched itself I'm just going to go to a hot and a ground on this particular boat Okay. Now we have our surface mount LED dome light mounted to the console. We've got it all wired up. Let's see how it works. You have the option for red and the option for white. So we're all wired up and good to go. Stay tuned for more TH Marine tech tips in the coming weeks on YouTube.